guys, this is your girl Najwa. If you are new to my channel, please, 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 I would love for you to join, a the, join our conversation. Go ahead, click the subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel. You'll join our little community. We talk about all types of things here, especially the narcissist, especially pop culture and lifestyle and random thoughts, you know, grievances, joys, happiness, learning new stuff celebrities, gossip, news, politics, everything. So uh, please, please, please join our community. Um, so this is the grade A best revenge against the narcissist. I'm looking at my notes if you're wondering. Um, if you want to know the best revenge that you can take out on the narcissist, I'm going to make this video pretty short. I've got the recipe for you. I'm going to tell you what will make the narcissist's blood boil. What will actually bring out what you have never ever seen in the, in the narcissist, which is tears. Quite literally make them sit in the middle of the room, shaking back and forth, crying, screaming, throwing things at the wall, you know, wanting you back. But you're not going to answer any of those calls, right? You've blocked them. You've gone no contact and you must stay no contact. If you're in a situation where you have to have limited contact, you really put your boundaries down, okay? And you don't take those calls. Maybe it's after a certain hour if it's a professional thing. Or maybe you'll say, okay, I'm going to take one text message and I'll respond to one text message a week. Whatever boundary that you have decided is best and you have to put up some sort of limitation, stick with it and do not abandon it. But in the most ideal situation, if you have gone completely no contact, that is going to be the thing that will destroy the narcissist. But I'm going to take it a step further. It's not only going no contact, it's also overcoming what they put you through. It's getting back into yourself. It's getting back on your mission. It's being successful. It's being happy despite them. Now, I'm not going to say that you're going to be able to get on your feet, be successful, you know, be successful in your career, start a charity, start projects, you know, really, really go and feel, fulfill your life's dreams in a day. No, it, it might take you months, it might take you years, it might take you decades. But keep chipping away at it. You must, must, must keep chipping away at it. And that is the best revenge. Be happy. Being happy and being on your mission, okay, working towards your success. Because, okay, let me put it this way. When you went out of the narcissist's life, they basically have convinced in them in their minds that they made you, that they created you, that you are who you are and you're lucky to be that person because of them, okay? And in your sad, pathetic life, you know, if you have anything and your sad, pathetic life, it's because the narcissist gave it to you. So when you leave them, they quite literally can't process it. How could you leave me? I'm amazing. How could you walk out of my life? That's how self-absorbed they are, okay? So, since they're so self-absorbed, when you walk out of their life, they will quite literally be sitting by the phone waiting for you to call them. They won't let you know that, you know? And you will be in the idea of like, oh my God, I need to call them. You know, you'll have convinced yourself that, you need to find closure. You don't need closure. Just move on. Just go no contact. That's the closure. But they have stockholmed you so much to you thinking, I need closure. I need to call them. I need to make sure they're okay. Even though they tried to destroy you, you are trying to see if they are okay. Tell me what's wrong with this picture here. But it's actually the opposite. When you go no contact and when you move on with your life and you keep on your mission and you're going after your goals, you're going after your dreams, the narcissist will be sitting there waiting for you to call them. This is not, this is not a pass for you to pick up the phone and go and call them. Seriously, keep the no contact, no contact. But they will want you to reach out to them. They want you to. It's like they need you to. And if you're not in contact, you're actually going to feel that energy, especially from empaths. 
you're gonna feel that desperate energy of them just being like please if anything come back but that you're not gonna see that their pride won't let them either that they, they will blow your phone up but it'll, it'll be after a certain period of time they've got to show their pride you know and they will go and create fake accounts they will create fake Facebook accounts, fake numbers, blocked numbers, call you, hang up. Oh yeah, narcissists are famous for that. In many cases, people have to get restraining orders. If you feel like you're in a dangerous situation, don't be afraid to get a restraining order. But the thing is, is um, when you go and you're being successful, the narcissist does have their eye on you. Even though you have gone no contact and you have refused to take their calls, to take their text messages, you've blocked them on WhatsApp, on Instagram, on Facebook, whatever it may be, they still have you in their sight. And don't think that they don't. They are master stalkers, manipulators. They know what's going on. They know what's going on through their flying monkeys, through their proxies, or they will go and create fake accounts and stalk you, for better words. And so they see what you're doing. And what you're doing is living your life. What you're doing is being better. What you're doing is following your mission and following your goals and your dreams. You're moving on. If it has been a romantic relationship, you're moving on with someone who's worthy of your care, your sweet spirit, your love and attention and your focus. Um, if you are, if it was a professional relationship, you have moved on to new opportunities, okay? You found that great job. And even if you haven't found that great job, you are happy starting all over again because you know that you're free and you made it out alive. You're a survivor. You are happy. You've gone no contact and maybe, just maybe, you're starting at zero. Honey, you like those immigrants that come to America with $5 in their pocket, but... Ten years later, they're going to have multi-million dollar companies. But right now, you got five dollars in your pocket, you know. But you're happy because you're free. Either you are already there, you've already gotten to that success point, or you're starting free, you're like a free bird, and you're heading towards your success. Either way, the narcissist is watching that. They're watching you. They're watching you from afar, either through mutual contacts or they're stalking you and this seeing you happy seeing you feel fulfill your fullest potential because what the narcissist did you know the Keith Haring thing for example you know the narcissist will sort of make you feel like you don't like the things that you like you like the things that they like and you shouldn't like the things that you liked before because those were lowly ignorant things. You should like the things that they like. But when you're out of their life, you start rediscovering the things that you like. And they're going to come back and they're going to see that. This will destroy the narcissist. The combination of you being happy, going on about your mission, chipping away at your goals to fulfill your life's dreams, your heart's desire... The combination of that and you not talking to them ever will destroy the narcissist. Child, go, go, go a year with that. Go five years with that. Go 10, 20 years with that. The narcissist is just going to be in their house in the corner shaking back and forth like this. <laughs> oh, Lord. But, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Just keep on your goals. And of course, we, we're we not like the narcissist. We're not vindictive. We're not evil. We don't have bad intentions. We're not hateful. We're not sitting here wishing ill upon anyone, bad upon anyone. You should never be wishing bad upon anyone. I'm just telling you, that's what's going to happen when you go no contact and you fulfill your heart's desires. The narcissist is going to be sitting there dying inside. But if you are a survivor of narcissistic abuse, I want to know about how you got through this. I want to know what happened when you went through this period of sort of leaving the narcissist behind and fulfilling your heart's desires. How did the narcissist react? 
tell those out there who are still suffering at the hand of those who are going through narcissistic abuse. And if you're going through narcissistic abuse, please also tell us. We want to hear your story. If you're not comfortable yet, no worries. Just come back, you know, come back and we'll keep talking about it. <sighs> it's like Al-Anon, you know, it's like Alcoholics Anonymous or Weight Watchers. Just keep coming back, child. Just keep coming back. <laughs> But guys, I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments. Please, please, please subscribe. I would love to have you here. All of my subscribers would love to have you here too. This is our growing little community. And I'm so, so, so happy that I've got you. You've got me. And I'll see you guys next time. You're bad. You're a bad ASS. You go. You go girl or boy or whoever you are. You go. You're awesome. <laughs>